Let's now shift our attention to China. A car crash has kicked up a storm there. Some weeks back, a Tesla crashed into a building. It killed two people, including a school girl. Three others were injured. The driver allegedly had trouble with the car brakes. And that's a claim that Tesla has now rejected. This comes as the car maker is under scrutiny for its self-driving technology. But in this instance, there was a driver behind the wheel. There was a driver. Will this incident put the Tesla company under fresh scrutiny? Here's a detailed report. The streets were quiet when this Tesla car slowly went past a small car. Within seconds, everything changed. The Tesla hit the road again. It speeds off. In the next 30 seconds, this speeding Tesla caused mayhem on the streets of Guangdong. With every turn, the CCTVs catch the car gaining momentum. It narrowly misses, hitting this man on a scooter. Then a violent overtake. The Tesla now looks out of control. It is veering on the street at a speed of almost 200 kilometers an hour. A collision now seems inevitable. In the final seconds, the Tesla clipped a cyclist, crashed into a small pickup, before finally smashing into a shop. The crash happened a few weeks ago. But the authorities are still unable to answer the most obvious question. What they know so far provides little insight into the final moments. There was a driver behind the wheel. The 55-year-old man says the brakes of the car didn't work. One of his family members claims he was having trouble with the brake pedal. However, Tesla disagrees. Denying claims of a malfunction, the car maker said it will assist the investigation by the Chinese police. Tesla is said to have pulled out the data about the car. The company says there is no evidence to show the brakes were engaged when the car was speeding. Tesla points back at these pictures, saying the car's brake lights never turn on. The verdict of the Chinese investigators is still awaited. This isn't the first time Tesla is under scrutiny in its second largest market. In April last year, the company faced negative press during the Shanghai Auto Show. A protester climbed on top of a Tesla 3 at the car maker's booth. Coincidentally, she had complaints about the brakes of her Tesla. The protester named Shang was apparently involved in a crash. Her protest went viral. The month of December brought more bad news for Tesla. The company recalled more than 21,000 of its Model Y cars. The reason was a steering issue. There is scrutiny back home in America too. Last month, a report emerged. It claimed that Tesla faces a criminal probe. The car's self-driving feature is at the center of this investigation. It is known as the autopilot. Once activated, the Tesla can navigate within its lane on its own. It can steer, accelerate and brake without human intervention. In the past, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has described the autopilot as probably better than a human driver. But the US Justice Department might disagree. In its probe, it is looking into more than a dozen crashes where autopilot was activated during accidents. Drivers, too, have been concerned about the claims around autopilot. One of them sued the company in September this year for false advertising. In 2020, Musk had disbanded Tesla's media department, saying he would like the company to focus more on the product rather than the public opinion. Since then, the company has faced more lawsuits and regulatory challenges. The crash in China has put a spotlight on the company again, the kind that Tesla might be hoping to avoid. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.